Hello, my name is Corsa Quamer and I'm one of the weather presenters on BBC Scotland News. You may have seen me on the telly or perhaps heard me on the radio telling you all about the weather where you are. Now, when I was young, I used to love looking up at the sky and see how many clouds I could spot. I love how clouds come in all different shapes and sizes and sometimes you can see a face or an animal or an object. Did you know that clouds and the type of clouds that we see can tell us a lot about the type of weather that we're going to get? And for weather forecasters, cloud spotting is actually a very useful tool. We can see clouds nearly every day. They float in the sky above us and can block out the sun. Sometimes they can be big, white and fluffy, and at other times they can be dark and grey and cover the entire sky. And like snowflakes, no two clouds are ever exactly the same. People who study the weather are called meteorologists. And while we have satellites and supercomputers to help us forecast and predict the weather days in advance, sometimes you can simply look at the sky and depending on the type of cloud you see, you can tell what the weather is going to be like in the here and now. Studying and spotting clouds can help us to understand the weather better. So what are clouds and how are they formed? Clouds are made of water and the size and type of water determine the type of cloud that will form. Tiny droplets of water rise as vapour in the atmosphere. This then cools and condenses and forms clouds. And how we group clouds is according to how they look. Whether they're made up of individual clumps, layers or streaks, and depending on how high or low they are in the sky. And the reason why clouds move is because they're being dragged along by the wind. So what are the most common types of clouds that we can spot here in the UK? And how do clouds affect the weather? Well, here are the main groups of clouds that we can spot that are the most common. Cirrus are high level clouds as they form very high in the sky and they are made of ice crystals. These clouds are usually seen on a fair and sunny weather day. The word cirrus is Latin and means a ringlet or a curling lock of hair and they do look like hair. These clouds are thin and wispy and can look like fine streaks or feathers that are spread like a fan high up in the sky. But I think they look more like stretched out bits of candy floss. Lots of high cloud can often make the sky look milky and can make the sunshine in the sky appear hazy. Cumulus clouds can look like giant cotton wool balls in the sky. They are lower level clouds. In Latin, cumulus means pile, and they can look like a big pile of fluffy clouds floating in the sky. These clouds are often known as fair weather clouds too, as they can form on sunny afternoons where the warm sunshine heats the ground and causes the evaporation of water droplets. This warm, moist air then rises, swells and then cools. And as it does so, it can form these great big puffy clouds in the sky. If the cumulus clouds are white, then they are usually dry and won't bring any rain. But when they form into dark grey clouds, this can mean that a shower is on the way. Stratus clouds are low-level clouds. Stratus is Latin for layer, and are called this because they can form in layers and cover the whole sky like a thick blanket. These clouds can often look quite flat and featureless. They can be white in colour too, but they can also be quite grey with hardly any sunshine. When the sky looks like a big dark cloak is covering it, we might get some drizzle, some rain or even a little snow. The lower the cloud is, the mistier it will be. And very low, dense stratus cloud is what we know as fog. Rain clouds are different to shower clouds because shower clouds are typically quite localised and they can only really bring wet weather directly beneath the cloud and nearby it could be completely dry. 
The Latin word nimbus means dark cloud or rain bearing as it has rain or snow falling from it. You can get different types of nimbus clouds, but the most dramatic to look at and the most dangerous too are cumulonimbus clouds. These are also known as thunderstorms. And in some cases, they can even produce tornadoes. But thankfully, powerful and dangerous tornadoes are very rare here in the UK. These clouds can form to great heights with high winds flattening the top of the cloud. So they look a bit like this hammerhead. These clouds are called anvil clouds and the anvil cloud or the hammerhead top usually points in the direction the storm is moving in. So these are the most common sorts of clouds that we can spot here in the UK. There are also some pretty amazing, unusual clouds you can spot too if you're lucky. These are some of my favourite ones. Lenticular clouds. These clouds can be a bit spooky as they've often been described as looking like flying saucers. These beautiful lens-shaped clouds are created by wind wave patterns and normally form near hills and mountains. They often look circular in shape like thin layers of plates hovering alone in the sky. It's no wonder people thought they looked a bit like alien spaceships. Mamatus clouds are also pretty weird and unusual. They are also known as Mamato cumulus clouds. They mostly form in connection with severe thunderstorms and they can make the sky look like a giant sheet of bubble wrap. With the upside down bubbles described as the drooping udders that we see on the underside of a cow. Finally, there's the rare Kelvin Helmholtz clouds. These clouds are pretty spectacular too if you're ever lucky to spot them. These clouds are named after the scientists who first studied and recorded them and they form on windy days. They can look like crashing ocean waves in a long train across the sky. These clouds form when two different layers of air move past each other at different speeds. The layer above is faster than the layer below and so creates these beautiful patterns in the sky. Looking at clouds and working out what type of clouds you can see is called cloud spotting. And one of the best things about cloud spotting is that anyone can do it, whatever your age, and you can do it anywhere, which is perfect if you're looking for something to do when you're at home. All you need to do is look out of the window or you can go out and look up at the sky from a balcony, a garden or any safe open space. Of course, it's very important you do not look directly at the sun as this could badly damage your eyes. You don't need any special equipment to spot clouds, but you might like to grab a pencil and paper to sketch what you see. This can help you figure out what types of clouds you're looking at. And perhaps you can even create a daily weather chart of all the different types of cloud and weather that you see each day. So now you have everything you need to go cloud spotting and there's lots of useful information on the internet with websites like the Royal Meteorological Society having lots of useful information. So why don't you give it a go yourself and let's see what clouds you can spot and what weather you can see too.